Saturday, November 12, 2022. Today on the Daily Review, we discuss an HBO documentary that has absolutely no reason for existing. It's called The Automat, with your host, me, Professor Joe LaRocca, in a film directed, quote unquote, by Lisa Hurwitz. And I feel like she maybe just knew Mel Brooks and was like, I want to make a documentary. Sorry, I won't be so mean about it. It's because it's kind of, it's an interesting old timey idea. It's about these, the uh, Hart and Hart and or whatever, Harold and Hart and automats, which were just restaurants basically that were vending machines built into the wall. And they were popular in the 40s and 50s in Philly and in New York. And there was a bunch of them. And people would come like it was a tourist attraction. You go in and it's kind of like democratized, right? Because. You know, they were. it was cheap, and everything was like a nickel or a dime, and you put it in the slot, and you open this little door, and you get a piece of pie, you get a cup of coffee, whatever. So I get it. It's a pretty cool idea. I've told you all of it. That's the whole story. <laughs> you got it. You could just watch the trailer and be like, mm-hmm. And then it's very poorly shot and very poorly edited. Now, you probably won't think it's poorly shot if you just kind of look at it, and you go, you're going to go, oh, that's fine. But it's just lazy, in my opinion. Like, it's just so uninteresting, especially something as uninteresting as a restaurant chain. You gotta, like, find a way to shoot it that's more interesting, in my opinion. And the editing is very, very basic. Um, bad, I would say, bad editing. Self indulgent editing, you know, putting herself and the talking and all the mistakes and stuff in there, which is like a cutesy thing you do, like, the first time you make a movie. And it's fine to do it like a tiny bit, a little touch of it, but no. No good. No good. But, I mean, I guess a nice idea. It, it, you know you know the, the podcast Stuff You Should Know? Like, I feel like this, it wouldn't even be a full episode of Stuff You Should Know. It would be like a, a, a short stuff, I believe they call it, when they just spend like 17 to 15 to 17 minutes on a topic. Um, anyway, yeah, they get like, again, it's just like, they, it's like this person knew a bunch of old juices, Jewish, Jew, juices, Jewish celebrities, and was just like, "Can I interview you? Do you remember automats?" And they're all like, "Oh yeah, those were great." <laughs> and then people are like, "That's it. There's not like, there's nothing to it, you know. There's no secret. There's no crazy backstory where it's like it was actually Hitler's favorite diet. And it's nothing. There's nothing going on. Um, it's as bewildering as that look. And then to put Mel Brooks like on the poster, I don't know." Feels like a cash grab. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's a short episode today. I really don't have much to say to it. You can like and subscribe. If you like to subscribe, I'm here every day. You can be here as much as you want. Um, it's a it's a hot it's a hot 70 degrees here in Boston, which is strange. Uh, and that's it. That's all I, I have to talk about. I think I'm just gonna go outside maybe and not watch anything. <laughs> Anyway, good try. This would have been a great little, like, 17, 20, maybe 25-minute little YouTube documentary, but it was kind of shocking to see it uh, with the heights of what HBO documentaries can be. We've seen them kind of release some of the best documentaries ever made, so uh, it's very surprising. This one just feels like, you know, some like a, a nepotistic endeavor. But I do wish they were still around. It would be great to have an auto mat where you don't have to interact with people. You can just go in and just... Because, I mean, that's basically what we're working our way back to anyway. Because if you go to, like, a Dunkin' Donuts near me, it's like zombies work there. Like, they don't even care. They just like, oh, I'll take your order, like, in between looking at my phone and fucking whatever I'm doing in the back. Uh, and people just, like, walk in and just pick up food off the table and leave, you know. Uh, anyway... Take that, someone who tried to make a documentary. Uh, okay, bye. I didn't learn anything. <laughs> Except, too bad, daddy wasn't in showbiz.